Certified most accurate. Now your TV5 first alert forecast. Good Thursday morning. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Matthew Mondra with your Thursday morning update. For today, still holding on to some of the warmth that we saw starting on Wednesday. And for today, even warmer than Wednesday, we'll eventually make our way up to around 50 degrees, 53 even possible in Flint. That's with a continued southwest wind around 5 to 15 miles per hour. But through today, still expecting just mostly cloudy skies. That rain, that will eventually move in closer to 5 p.m. this evening, starting in our western counties, moving from west to east across our area and staying scattered even widespread through tonight and early tomorrow morning. The big update here, though, is that tomorrow morning that dry air does work in quicker, uh, so that's our biggest development with this rain. So that is lowering our projected totals and now closer to around a quarter to a half of an inch. Those highest totals still farther towards the north, so totals increasing as you head into our northern counties. That wind will still pick up on Friday, especially by the afternoon. This is Friday at 4 p.m. Notice these wind gusts from the west around 40 miles per hour. It does still fall short of wind advisory levels, but still enough to certainly blow around some loose outdoor items. So keep that in mind for Friday, but also on Friday with that wind, we start the day warmer in the 40s. We're back to the upper 30s by around noon. And then here we are by 6 p.m. on Friday down to around 35 degrees. So temperatures falling throughout the daytime tomorrow and we will eventually land in the lower 20s by Friday night. Saturday does have a colder start to the weekend, 30 degrees with a few scattered snow showers, but then Sunday that wind slows down. We're starting to see decreasing clouds back to sunshine and then Monday Tuesday, Wednesday, all next week, starting off spring with warmer temps and plenty of sun. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.